kids. They're bundles of energy, but they need the right snacks to keep them going. That's why I give my kids fruity bars. The fool. <laughs> Preventing trips around your home can be as easy as tidying up toys. The advert you just watched uses shock value. During a normal advert break, the viewer is presented with what looks like a normal standard sales pitch for a snack bar, before then seeing a woman face plant through a glass table and being left for dead. At that point you have given your full attention before being provided with context about injury prevention. This type of advert was replicated many times over. The job's worth doing. It's worth doing right. That's why I use new Solar Shield. Flows on like a dream. Protects against. Preventing falls around your home can be as easy as securing your ladder. Speeding has been a major cause of death on New Zealand roads. The first type of these PSAs are traditional and like the injury prevention adverts, use morbid scenes to make the viewer reconsider whether it's worth saving a bit of time by going over the speed limit. So you're back with Jason. Oh, yeah. yeah, thanks boys. Thanks for your support. Eh? <laughs> she's not just you out with the boys. <laughs> she's, she's sweet. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Over, eh? That's where a lot of the crashes are happening, sir. Yeah, but everyone does that speed along here. You have a safe trip. Guess it's just not our lucky day, eh? What's this? Is that the same cop that gave you the ticket? Yeah, it is. Guilt and embarrassment are human emotions that we do our best to avoid in our day-to-day -day lives. The next couple of PSAs are designed to tap into those feelings of the viewer by showing how speeding can impact not just yourself, but those around you. Not your fault, eh? Yeah. See ya. Do you always drive this fast? Shoot my Three hisses. Well, I've also done more damage to my car than yours. <laughs> Fish and chips tonight. Cool. Yeah, don't miss the school bus. Bye, Dan. Give me five. There you go. Bye. See ya. Bye. Back off the road, sweetheart. Bye. <laughs> you reckon it's only 30 minutes into town from here? It's great. From the door to the office, it's 30 minutes. It's open road driving the whole way. You love it. Yeah. You do, don't you? I do. She hums this car, eh? Andrew, you all right? Yeah. What are we had? Something. There was something. Okay. 
I don't know. I don't what know. the hell was it, Dave? Dave? Oh, my God, please. Dave, what was it, mate? Just look around, because I think we had a couple of kids, OK? Kids. Kids! Oh, my God, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no, oh, no! Mate, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought there was time. He just pulled out. I don't have time to stop. Well, come on, mate. It was a simple mistake. I know if I was going a bit slower. But... Please. I've got my boy in the back. I'm going too fast. I'm sorry. The last video you just watched there was about speeding. Another major public concern killing people around the world is driving whilst being intoxicated. The New Zealand government stepped up to spend millions of dollars over the years in an attempt to lessen these numbers by providing cautionary tales and scare tactics to pressure New Zealand public into thinking about the risk when getting behind the wheel under their influence. Successful PSAs are able to infiltrate the culture. One way this was masterfully done was by placing judgement and ownership on those who don't stop someone else from drink driving. Something that people once turned a blind eye to was made clear that it is no longer acceptable. Mate. Hey, man. Dave. They've been on the source. That's Mary's boy, isn't it? Yeah. I should say something. Oh, no. Oh, crap at that kind of thing, Barry. Yeah, but they're just kids. If we don't say so. Oh. Hey, boys, boys, why didn't you get a lift home tonight? Oh, whatever, mate, I've only had a couple. No, 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 it's, it's too late now because, you know, I've spoken to you and, and I know your mum. So that means our fates are aligned, our, our futures are intricately woven together. I mean, you get into that car and you get yourself killed or you, or you kill someone else, well then, well, I become part of it too. How? Well, well it's like my, my balls are in your hands. <laughs> No, I don't want that. Nobody wants that. Hey, how about I drive you? <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh, 
As with the previous advert, the next one supports others to step up and challenge potential drink drivers, but also using humour to send a very serious message. Oh no, George is driving. He's too wasted. I should say something, but I could look dumb in front of Monique. Bro, Monique says you're dumb, but if he crashes, I'll have to live with his family. Puzzle tag. And if he dies, ghost George will haunt me forever. Grab a chip. Want a chip? You know I can't grab your ghost chips. Go away. Spoon. Spacehead. Bro, what are you, what are you doing, bro? Well, I've been internalising a really complicated situation in my head. What are you on about? I don't think you should drive. No. Nah. No, nah, you're too drunk, bro. You just crash here. Yeah, it's crash here. Okay. <laughs> Stop a mate from driving drunk. Legend. The ghost chip PSA first hit our screens in 2011. And still to this day, people will reference ghost chips. And at the same time, reminding ourselves of its message. Creating catchphrases was a very intentional decision and also a stroke of genius. After each PSA hit the screens, these catchphrases quickly became part of the lexicon of New Zealanders. It gave people a toolkit to call our mates or strangers out in those circumstances where they think they are okay to drive, when in actuality, they're not. Calling someone a bloody legend or mate for suggesting a taxi was commonplace, and in circumstances when an intoxicated person picks up their keys just by calling them Dave or saying, Monique says you're dumb, could be enough to save their or someone else's life. The last set of PSAs I call the Don't Be A Dick PSAs. In a similar vein to trying to invoke embarrassment for drink driving, these commercials attempt to make people consider whether binge drinking is worth it, or at the very least reduce the amounts that they are consuming. <laughs> He's not a plan. Uh, are you coming next Saturday? I'm on. Oh yeah bro, yeah. keen ass. Cool. Shall I bring anything? Oh it's pretty casual Sammy. Uh, same for the barbie, couple of brews. Just leave your mates behind this time mate. <laughs> What well, mates? Oh, you know. Shouty Sam. Behind, bro. Mate. No, no, Jono. I didn't drop the ball. Admit it! Punchy Sam. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Hit on everyone's missus, Sam. What's up? Let's go. What? And I think that's when almost got arrested, Sam turned up. Sammy. Sammy. We're mates, right? I'm telling you. you you just got us all your drinking now. Come on. However you do it, tell them to ease up on the drink. I cannot hold it, Captain. Let's see, mate. grass? <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button